Yeah, we're talking about pizza again. Naples, Rome, New York, Chicago, Detroit. So I've tried them all, except for Chicago. Uh, but is that really considered pizza? Anyway, I'm thinking about taking a trip out there soon to find out for myself. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but today we're staying close to home. Any pizzeria you go to in New York, you're gonna find two different styles of pizza. You got that famous thin slice with the bubbly crust, and then you got the big boy, the Sicilian. That's what we're making today, so get excited and let's get into it. So in my opinion, the best Sicilian slice has to start with the dough. We're looking for a salty, crunchy crust and a buttery and fluffy inside crumb. And for that, I think my focaccia recipe is gonna get us there. So here it is, 440 grams of bread flour, 375 grams of warm water, five grams of yeast, five grams of salt, 50 grams of extra virgin olive oil, and five grams of molasses or honey. So as usual, I'm gonna go with the overnight poolish uh, to help us develop some flavors here. And as you can see from the ingredients, it's gonna be a pretty wet dough, but it's really not that bad to work with because of the olive oil. Focaccia is probably one of the easiest breads to make, uh, so don't get scared. All right, so for the poolish, uh, you're gonna subtract 200 grams of flour from the recipe and 200 grams of water, the yeast, and the molasses. Mix that all together. Let it sit for about 15 minutes uncovered. Now cover it and place it in the fridge overnight. All right, next day, the poolish is gonna look nice and bubbly, and you're gonna notice the smell has developed a bit. A little acidy, I guess, uh, is the best way to describe it. It's definitely noticeable. Once you pop that lid, you're gonna smell it. Now in a separate bowl, I threw in the rest of my ingredients, along with the poolish. And you wanna mix that all together. Uh, your goal here is to get that dough as smooth as possible. And we're gonna do that with a process called stretch and fold. Folding the dough over itself uh, creates a nice gluten structure inside the dough, uh, which in turn is gonna give you those nice air pockets. So we're gonna do this about two to three times every 15 minutes. The dough is gonna look and feel really sticky here at the beginning, but that's okay. Just dip your hand in a little water uh, and that should solve the problem. And cover with a damp towel in between folds. Now we're gonna let this rest for about an hour or two until doubled in volume. All right, guys, this is what you're gonna need for this amount of dough. Uh, it's gonna make one pizza about nine by 13. You don't really wanna go smaller than this. Uh, Sicilian too thick is not gonna be good. Nine by 13 or a little larger makes the perfect Sicilian for this recipe. So grab your pan and drizzle in a little olive oil. Now right from the bowl, gently scoop in your dough. and the dough is very relaxed at this point. So press it out evenly with your fingertips to the shape of the pan. So at this point, you'll probably get the most flavor uh, if you just wrap this dough up in plastic, put it in the fridge for one or two days. But my ass is really impatient and I want pizza today. This can go anywhere from 30 minutes to one hour. Uh, I went the full hour just because I knew that my yeast wasn't as strong as it should be. So at this point, turn your oven on, crank it up to 450 degrees, and let's move on. So right now, this is focaccia. And you can literally throw it in the oven uh, just like this with a little flaky salt sprinkled on top and call it a day. Or if you want, you can get a little crazy, uh, maybe some sliced olives, uh, some fresh rosemary, whatever does it for you. <laughs> but like I said, we're making pizza. So for the sauce, if you've been watching me for my pizzas, you know that I love to go with the uncooked sauce method. So that's what I'm gonna go with today uh, to try to get it as close to a New York style pizzeria as possible. Crushed tomatoes, olive oil, oregano, minced garlic, some fresh basil, and salt. That's it. Now before we go into the oven, we're gonna spread a nice thin layer of sauce right on top of our raw dough. You wanna go almost all the way to the edge of the dough uh, with the sauce, but a very thin layer. Hit that with a healthy sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. Now into the oven for about 20 minutes.
At this point, our dough is perfectly cooked. It's got a nice crunch on the outside. The sauce should be starting to brown a little bit. That's fine. We're gonna throw on a hefty layer of mozzarella cheese here to get that beautiful pull. Now back into the oven for about five minutes. Now it's time to eat. And that's a New York Sicilian slice. <laughs> mm. All right, guys, that's Sicilian pizza. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.